Meghan Markle has been urged to start thinking about her birthing plan as the final weeks of her pregnancy are approaching fast. Val Wilcox, an antenatal teacher at the National Childbirth Trust, NCT, has said the royal couple need to choose what suits them best and not worry about what other people think when they prepare for Meghan's labor. She said, I would encourage Meghan and Harry to think about what's important to them and to start drawing up some preferences. It's a really personal thing. It's really important that women don't feel that anybody is going to judge them for the choices that they make. It is such an individual thing and it's not a competition. If you give birth without using any pain relief at all and that works for you, fantastic. Or if someone else gives birth having had an epidural and quite a lot of medical intervention, if they're happy with that experience, that's good for them. It may not pan out in the way that they expect. It may be much more straightforward, but when things get more complicated that's when you're grateful for the expertise of doctors or midwives. What birthing plan could Meghan Markle and Prince Harry choose? There are many birthing options available for the 37-year-old former actress, including a water birth or hypnobirthing, as well as the newest range of pain relief drugs or even a cesarean. If Meghan has a straightforward labor, she could choose a water birth. Around 2 in 10 women who give birth in England use water or a birthing pool for coping with pain, with 1 in 10 delivering in the pool, according to a recent national maternity survey of more than 17,000 women by the Care Quality Commission CQC. A home water birth can also involve hiring or purchasing of an inflatable birth pool to make the mother as comfortable as possible. Hypnobirthing could also be an option as involves managing pain by using a mixture of visualization, relaxation and deep breathing techniques. As Meghan is an avid yoga fan and Harry now apparently meditates each day, this could be the perfect option. Ems Wilcox said this method could help the Duchess, and even the Duke, stay calm. She said, using techniques of self-hypnosis can be incredibly helpful. It won't change somebody's birth journey but it gives the woman tools to react differently to what's going on. It can be a really powerful form of relaxation. But if Meghan suddenly decides she wants her labor to be less painful, she could opt for an epidural. This is an injection in the back to help give pain relief and is used in 30% of labors in England. An elective cesarean is also an option as around 12% of births happen through planned cesarean and 15% by emergency cesarean, according the CQC. The drugs pethidine or diamorphine can also help relieve pain. Ems Wilcox said, what most women want is for birth to be as straightforward as possible and as safe as possible for them and their baby, and what that straightforward and safe looks like will be very different for different women. If Meghan has ever had any strong pain-killing drugs she might already be thinking, I like the idea of that or I don't like the idea of that. It's a really personal thing.